Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. I hope you have been watching this series. Uh, it has actually been a lot of fun for me because it gives me an opportunity to actually go through my collection and see what I have. Um, and I've been enjoying talking about it. A couple of them I feel like I need to add uh, to my rotation because it kind of been sitting in the back of my collection. If you have not uh, caught the earlier versions of this series, it is in the description uh, under full fragrance collection. Click on the um, playlist and that way you can get all caught up. But to each and every one of y'all who've been rolling with me each and every day as we have been trying to uh, get through my collection, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will not hold you. I wanted to continue to go on, but I wanted to make sure that you are subscribed, that you turn on your notification, because even though these videos are coming up every single day, normally I post maybe two times a week. Hope you are having as much fun as I am. Let's keep going. Stay tuned. We are now talking about coconut. So my first one in coconut is going to be this beauty right here, which is City Rhythms Miami. Uh, actually, it's Miami Tropical Seduction. This is one that has a gorgeous coconut lime opening to it. Uh, saffron, it has ylang ylang and rum. The, uh, the mindset behind this fragrance is that it's city, right? He wants each city to be captured in a bottle. So for this one, it's supposed to remind you of Miami. So it does to me. It gives you like that coconut milk, uh, coconut water type drink, right? Uh, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So that's why I have it in the coconut section. My next one is a Labu. Labu is going to always be my favorite. Yes, it was geared towards men, uh, but it's one of my favorites. As you see the dent <laughs> that I have in it, I truly do enjoy this one. This is another one of those where uh, John Paul Gaultier do not tell you all the scents. Um, basically, it's supposed to be coconut, tonka bean, and bergamot. But I strongly believe it's more to this fragrance. Um, either way, it's an amazing fragrance. Uh, Labu is going to always be in my collection as long as I can find it. Uh, I'm going to buy it. Um, it's going to probably take me a while to actually get through this one. But every time I want a coconut fragrance, I always uh, choose Labu. Now, this one here is one that I use mostly for layering, right? It is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21 by Kaali. It is basically a layering of uh, scent. It's coconut milk. It has honeysuckle, pear. Uh, for me, I get uh, gardenia in it. I get a lot of amberette. Um, it doesn't have great uh, lasting powder power to it, but I do believe that it is truly a great layering fragrance. Like if you want to add some coconut, some tropicalness to any scent, then I think Utopia Vanilla Cocoa would be a good one to go get. All right, my next one is going to be this one here, which is Coco du Yomain. It is um, coconut, Madagascar vanilla, and amber. I love when it's not a lot of notes to a fragrance. Uh, I do believe that it's probably more notes than they actually share with us, but this keeps it very uh, simplistic, but yet beautiful. Great coconut scent. Great, great coconut scent. So if you have opportunity to get Coco Du Yaman, then I think you should get it. Works great to me on men and women. It's not too, too feminine or too masculine. This one here is my next one. One of my absolute favorites. It is Tamarindo uh, by Mimo Paris. Gorgeous scent. The bergamot and cardamom in it is absolutely to die for, right? Mandarin orange, pineapple, that's your tropicalness uh, to it. And then it has a bit of tuberose, which gives it uh, some floral aspect. 
coconut and peach i absolutely adore this fragrance right here i adore it i think that is amazing it's an amazing scent my next one is going to be the alien that made me uh actually let me move this one over a little bit so that you can see it uh my alien goddess might be the very few aliens that i still have in my collection i want to say i uh, i had all of them at one point except for the original and then i slowly started to kind of take some out of my collection because i found that i was always reaching for the same ones and alien goddess was it i liked it because to me it says it has jasmine but i think they lowered that jasmine down so much that it became a fragrance that i could actually wear uh, it's coconut water, it's bergamot, it's jasmine, it's uh, bourbon, vanilla, and cashmere. I absolutely love Adian Goddess. And I know that there's an Adian Goddess um, intense, uh, but I, I adore this one. All right, my next one is going to be Absecute by Mystery Modern Mark gorgeous gorgeous line this is a absolutely amazing line i was introduced to his line via instagram and i just haven't looked back i truly enjoy absolute i enjoy a lot of fragrances by mr minor uh mr mystery modern mark <laughs> um great 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 line this one here is bergamot lemon coconut tonka bean and vanilla uh the namesake of it is uh he had it on one day and a lady told him that he smelled absolutely cute so then he came up with the name abso cute so apps absolutely cute cute on the end i thought that was a cool uh description of the fragrance okay my next one is going to be coconut nanas coconut nanas is my next one uh, I'm pretty positive a lot of people have talked about this one. It is pineapple, coconut, frangipani, peach, and terry flower. I think that it is a great blend of scents um, all combined together. One of the better ones by the line, but uh, just absolutely amazing. Like, absolutely amazing. My last one is going to be chocolatey. Chocolate E is by Stranger Perfumeries. It is a fragrance that has so many unique notes in it, but it works. The fragrance works, right? It's rice, coconut, jasmine, frangipani, sandalwood. It has a cashew note to it, vanilla. There's a breadiness to this chocolate E, along with vetiver and uh, an amberette. Uh, Stranger Perfumeries are known to mix various different fragrance uh, notes together to come up with something very unique. And to me, it's like a, it's like cooked rice. And I know to someone might be like, oh, that, that doesn't smell good, Claudia. It actually works. It's like, almost like sweet cooked rice is what it is to me. Absolutely love it. Uh, like rice maybe cooked in coconut milk. I think that is the perfect description is uh rice that you made with some coconut milk that is what chocolatey is and this is my collection of coconut fragrances and if i said chocolate milk oh lord I'm, i i meant to say coconut milk i'm not quite sure if i said chocolate milk or coconut but i meant coconut milk but this is my collection right so let's talk about pear uh my pear fragrances that i have we can start off with this one here and this is juliet has a gun pear ink and it is pear abroxan must and amberette um it's fresh but i love abroxan i love love abroxan so uh, that alone <laughs> made me want to get this fragrance uh beautiful beautiful fragrance i absolutely do enjoy uh pear ink by juliet has a gun my next one you're going to hear a lot of people talk about this one and it is it is so worth the hype that is another 13 by lilavo 
It is pear, apple, and citrus in the opening. Gorgeous, fresh, clean. Amberette, it has some moss and some ICE Super in it. So that means on each person's skin, it's gonna give you a different vibe. Um, so every time someone says, well, what do you have on? And I say, I have on another 13. And then they get it and they're like, well, it don't smell the same like it smells on you, Claudia. And I try to explain the ISO E Super to them, but if you're not really into fragrance, that's like talking Japanese. But basically what happens with that is that what, what your chemistry pulls off, if you pull off Gourmand, if your skin, your chemistry pulls off more spices, more like notes, then that is what ISO E Super is gonna do. Love another 13. It smells great to me on everyone. Now, this is one that people love or not so much, right? But I fall on the line of love. I love Dama Rosa. It is a champagne-y, uh, orangey, parmelo-type notes with pear, uh, Denmark rose in it. It does have clove and some woody notes. But to me, it's that, it's that bubbly champagne and pear note. Reminds me actually of sparkling water, like a raspberry sparkling water is what I get from it. Um, or even like, you know, if you've ever smelled rose water, that is what I get from Dama Rosa. I absolutely love this one. Uh, one of my favorites, but again, I know that either you love Dama Rosa or you don't. This one here is basically what you wear on a lazy day. So they really could not have given it any other name but Lazy Sunday Morning. It has aldehyde, lily of the valley, pear, iris, orange blossom. And uh, it does have some patchouli, but not a lot. It is a typical lazy day, washing clothes, lounging around the house with a good book. On a breezy day, this is the fragrance you would run to the store in. If you just want to smell good, it's like that soft skin, fresh bedding type smell. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love Lazy Sunday Morning when I cannot think of anything else to possibly wear. And I'm going to put up the picture of uh, the spray from Bath and Body Works that you have to get to go with it because I think they were copying Lazy Sunday Morning when it came up with Cozy Sunday Morning. Perfect blend, perfect layering partner. Okay, to round off my pear scents, this is one that in, uh, I wanna say back in the day was the one to have. Like you had to have this Roberto Cavalli, Gemma de Peri Peridoso. You had to have it. Like it was the bottle was gorgeous, the fragrance was gorgeous. Everyone had to have it. So I wear this one. I don't wear it as often as I used to wear it, but it will forever be in my collection until I use it up. And it is pear, it's mandarin orange, jasmine, floral notes, uh, amber, and vanilla. If you can find this fragrance, I say get it. Um, I want to say now it's been discontinued or they have redone it. And it's not like the original, but I absolutely love this one. So I like all of my pear scents. So these are the ones that if you ever wonder, Claudia, what do you wear when you just want to be comfortable in the house? I wear one of these five. Or if you just want to run to the store, I wear one of these five. And these are my pear scents. Hello, hello. Thank you for watching the video and staying tuned. If you are enjoying this series, put a star in the comments. Uh, today we talked about, and I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope that it was interesting to you that I told you of some fragrances that you could get into, that you could add to your collection. But I always want to know, what do you have that I need to get into? What do I need to start uh, smelling? I have no problem with sampling or decanting or, or getting some new scents. So in the topic we talked about today, if you know of a fragrance I need to add, tell me about it. But on that note, I hope you have a wonderful night and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.